Welcome back to Making History with Kerbal Space Program. And I thought I would see what the changes or how it affected career mode. So I'm here with a custom difficulty setting, and here's the basic tab, and here's the advanced tab. A lot of the difficulty options are on, um, including this new option of allow other launch sites. So that might be interesting. Anyway, let's just accept them and let's just call it uh, Making History Career. Okay, we've got a NASA flag, difficulty options, start. Let's see where we get to, shall we? So I did one previous episode where I show off what you can actually do in making history, including the fact there are two launch sites. Uh, yep, welcome to the Space Center. So let's see what we've got. So uh, usual stuff, um, any science experiment, we'll take that. And launch, it, launch our first vessel, let's take that and see if we can just create... You know, the usual starting vessel. However, we do have the option of the um, the precursor to Soyuz. Is it the Vostok? Mm, can never remember the other capsule name, but the precursor to the Soyuz anyway. The one that Yuri Gagarin went up into. So it's a re-entry module. What's the difference in weight? It's lighter. It's definitely lighter. Okay, so can we just do our usual? Oh. <laughs> Look at that thing. I'm not sure that that's going to really be too effective as a rocket. And I guess we'll just put a couple of, well, th just three fins on. We shouldn't have to worry too much about this. And, um, well, I'm definitely going to need a parachute and check the staging for that. And some science. And at least we get more options of where, where we actually put this. So why? Uh, I guess it's four-way symmetric, isn't it? So... I guess we're just going to put uh, two of these on there and there. Maybe grab some from the launch pad, etc. Nothing too special. There's a detachment option and then parachute. Okay, so like, we're not even going to bother titling it. We've got 12,000 to start and 2,800 for this one vessel. We can choose where we want to take off from. We're just going to take off from the regular launch pad. I did show you the Woomera one in the um, in the pre uh, pre sort of career mission uh, pre career mission pre um, career video. So as usual, nothing much to say other than the fact that these icons are larger than I expected. And yeah, nothing much changed there. So let's just go. And. We can just tilt over, well, we can, can't really tilt over a little bit. We're already going, uh, yep, that's fine. In fact, this thing doesn't have any control at all. I wonder if that means there is no reaction wheels in here. Interesting. In any case, we can sort of lose that and drop our parachute. And of course, we should come back down in this ball. And I don't really have any mods at the moment, so... And uh, we're going to just keep that and probably wait till we get back onto the launch pad or close to the launch pad for the other goo canister. Let's head back down again. There you go. I'm sure how the stable this is going to be when we actually land, but uh, otherwise it's... Uh, where did that hit the ground? Hopefully nowhere nearby that caused any damage. And let's just cut to where we hit the ground. And back on the ground. Touchdown. There we go. I guess we'll see if we can get any more signs. Yeah, why not? And uh, recover. In fact, I should get us our first two missions out of the way. And uh, yeah, there we go. So 15 science and what our funds are like. 53,000. That's pretty good. And we've got lots of missions. Okay, so escape the atmosphere. Mm, all right. Test the hammer in flight, so that will need two stages to do that. And it needs to be a certain height, no problem. Pull that into flight again, that needs to be on the craft. And uh, hold that into flight, mm, okay. So, we're definitely going to be able to escape the atmosphere at some point. Let's see if we can unlock some nodes, shall we? So basic rocketry, is there anything new in there? No, there isn't, but we'll take that anyway. And engineering, that gives us a decoupler. That is a new decoupler, I think. It's certainly a new model. Thermometer communitrons. Yes, let's take those as well. And we don't have anything for the next nodes. So on we go. Let's just head in here and see if we can build a different rocket. 
So shall we keep with this uh, this capsule? It's pretty cool, but it didn't have any reaction wheels. So, or at least I didn't have any ability to control it. Uh, so let's give this a go. Ooh, and we can switch between the VAB and the, S uh, the SPH if from this button. That's very nice. I do like that option. So let's just get rid of this and let's use our usual capsule. And just in case I'm actually hallucinating uh, whether we can actually do things or not. Let's, well, yeah, let's just purchase this and let's get straight to the liquids. I think we can also purchase the hammer as well, but uh, liquids are going to be useful. We're not going to have any large fuel tanks, of course, but we do have a decoupler. The decoupler should come in handy. Um, where are you? Yep, by the decoupler. This does look a lot nicer. Uh, and in fact, it's still got the usual thing where it doesn't actually go into the right place. Mm, I guess it's that's where it's considering the decoupler to be. It's normally when you get a heat shield underneath there, but we don't have a heat shield yet. So I guess we can just stack these up. And eight of them. I don't have any mods at all, so I'm not even going to bother calculating uh, much of what we can do in here. I'm going to use a hammer as a kick motor with another uh, decoupler just to get it off the ground. Um, we're not going to put side boosters on In fact, I don't think we even have the technology to do that. Now let's just put the fins on, say, four-way symmetry. And now I guess we could do with a communitron. Well, let's just unlock all of these. We're going to use them all. So we're going to need a thermometer. Okay. And let's also equip this thing with a couple of good canisters. Up here, something like that. Put the thermometer on the back, maybe. Yeah, there we go. And just the parachute, really. I uh, don't think there's anything else we can actually even equip to this thing, apart from the antenna. Don't think we're going to need it, to be honest, for this sort of flight, so let's just leave it here. And is that it? Don't think there's anything else we can really build. Nope. Okay, so let's just again save this. Yep, and uh, so we got the booster, then a separation and a fire. Firing happens immediately in, bare sp in, in the straightforward Kerbal Space Program, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Let's just launch. Uh, in fact, not launch. I want to go to the mission control and get the Escape the Atmosphere mission. Okay. Looks... Pretty stubby for a, <laughs> a launch, but let's uh, let's go to the space center. Across the mission control. And let's just take that, shall we? Yeah. And let's fly it. Hopefully it'll still count. If not, we can always fly another one. But let's just see how well this goes. So we've got eight of those tiny, tiny tanks. We'll get to the uh, next tank node uh, relatively soon. In fact, probably on this after this particular flight. And we've got a thermometer as well. So let's see if this actually takes off. It does. All right. And then I'm going to start tilting over once we start to... Well, we certainly can tilt this one. It's a little bit uh, unstable, or it will be a little bit unstable. We don't have any controllable fins yet. It's purely doing it by reaction control wheel. And uh, next, start the next stage. There we go. All right, let's fly this through towards uh, space. Okay, so we're a fair bit higher. I've throttled back just while we get the thicker part of the atmosphere. And then we can throttle back up again and start to head out. Uh, we can see we don't have any kind of mod, so I can't see any of this information on panels, but that is certainly enough to get us uh, out of the atmosphere. We don't really have heat shields to come back in, so I'm not going to worry too much about going much further out than that. I don't want to increase my speed too much, and um, yes, these these capsules may have a... In fact, do we have a blather built in? No, but the other one does, I think? So a commenter did say that the early Russians did have a blather, so, um, yeah, the capsule itself may well protect us, but this is as much as our mission actually asks us to do, so that is just fine. We're just going to approach space itself. 
And let me just uh, get one of these for flying high. Um, yeah, upper atmosphere. And as soon as we cross into space, there we go. So log temperature. While in space, we can transmit or keep it. Uh, I'm just going to keep it. And then we'll also get another one from this. While in space. Yeah, we'll keep that one as well. Let's actually just get rid of this. That can be leave left behind. And now we have a nice capsule that we can follow all the way through. Let's just turn off the SES, save some electric charge. Yeah, we don't shouldn't need to do that too much. And have this short hop over the top. And heading back down again. So back we are in the atmosphere. We should we've got SES off, so it should stabilize around the, the retrograde pointer. There it goes, it should start cycling. Yeah. And uh, as soon as we get to thicker atmosphere, it will slow us down and we should be able to then use the um, the parachute. So 30k, 25, 24, and we're already slowing down. So that should go orange anytime soon. Go orange. <laughs> Please go orange at some point. I'd rather not burn up. Well, not burn up, but uh, crash. There we go, orange and uh, grey. So we can fire this, and as normal, all the way down. So I need to show that on camera. We should just get some more science. And 37 science, wonderful. Okay, our next mission is probably going to be... Uh, I've got 141,000, so next mission is probably going to be orbit. Um, da, 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 on the orbit, accelerate parallel. Yes, yes, yes. We get 28,000 for completion and 10k advance. So why don't we take that? We should get a lot of prestige for that, so let's just... Oh, in fact, no, we need more. We need more tech. This is awful. <laughs> it gets us off the surface, but it's not a great long term. There, okay. So what have we got the option of? 20 science, 18 and 15. So that is 33, 53. We've only got 37. Okay. So survivability gives us heat shields. All well and good. Gives us more science. Again, very good. And drug shoots and service bays. Uh, stability, that's the controllable node, and the radial decoupler. And general rocketry is going to give us the reliance. Yep, thumper and the better fuel tanks. Hmm, difficult one, actually. Um, which ones do I actually want? I think I'm going to head and try without having radial uh, boosters on here. So I'm going to take the this one, and I'm going to take this one. And we're going to purchase both sets apart. Well, I don't necessarily need the micro landing struts or the radiators for the moment, but let's just purchase them anyway. And we've got two science left, so let's see if we can assemble something a little bit better. I think let's just restart and go with this again. So um, let's see if this has any ablator. Come on, hold still. Um, ablator, yes, amount 20. Good, good, good. So we should be safe as long as we come in bottom first, which I presume is where the ablator is. So, ideal orbital craft, unlike uh, the command pod. Do you have a blater? Nope. <laughs> so, this one's definitely going to need... Uh, so that's a one big change. You don't necessarily need those heat shields, I guess, then. But the other stuff in that node is very good anyway. And we're going to have uh, four of these at least, maybe five. Something like that. Are these double exactly? Yes, they are. Okay, and our engines. Now, generally the swivel is pretty good. Um, it has... It doesn't quite as good as uh, the T30, but it does have the ability to gimbal. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't have as much thrust, but... Um, or indeed ISP. Yeah, well, sort of good in vacuum. But not so much in atmosphere, which is where it's going to be mainly used. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, we just need to add a decoupler. As you might expect. And that actually fits really nicely. Aside from the side of, size of all these parts looking a bit small for this. Otherwise, it looks fine. Let me just grab another one of those. And we're going to do the same thing again. Let's see how close we can get to orbit. So... That will be a good one to start with. We don't need the payload bay just yet. 
or the landing struts or the heat shield hopefully <laughs> you never quite know but we can actually get a barometer on here and let's put a thermometer on it as well and while we're at it maybe a couple of uh, mystery goo containers finish up with a parachute we could go for the radial mount ones but um this should be enough i would have thought and again i think we're out of parts probably does this have an aerial an antenna built in uh yes it does antenna rating is 5k but that's 3 million miles by the level one um sort of deep space network or the uh the tracking station okay uh, is there anything else we want we could try and put another one of those on i'm not sure if it would even take off but we can try it um in fact is that uh ah there it is yeah so if i put this on and grab both of them doubt this will work i think it'll be too heavy by far but i don't have any kind of mods to be able to see it so let's take off and then detach attach and fire attach and attach and then parachute and this didn't have any um reaction wheels did it that might be more of an issue <laughs> might be quite a big issue in fact so let's give it a try shall we or at least i didn't have any control last time let's give it a go again and yeah i'm not too concerned about it let's uh, give this a try okay <laughs> this looks horrible <laughs> oh no it will take off okay so let's give it a go it's not going to be terribly efficient can we actually steer this thing nope <laughs> yeah so that's the downside with this capsule there is no steering on it whatsoever uh, i can't roll i can't do anything else so yeah we're gonna have a bit of a problem we can certainly get quite far up and we can use this as a oh that's not good that is not good abort abort <laughs> abort all the ways i think i am actually detached now uh are you gonna fall off yeah please fall off please <laughs> And that is an interesting abort, but we should go back to the ground, so we probably can use this. We're probably going to have to go for the traditional capsule, I think. We need some kind of controls or reaction wheels, which I don't have access to yet. So, yeah, maybe don't use this unless you plan to go in orbit by some kind of tower that points you in the right direction. And then hope this will keep you um, going in the right way. Okay, so even though that didn't get into war, but it did get us 14 science. I used that just before we landed and splashed down into the uh, sort of on the beach area, really. Uh, Kerbin Shores, so that is fine. And we still got plenty of funds, so let's just change that back over to our, oh, our traditional capsule, shall we? It's a, such a shame. I quite like this one, but uh, yeah, it's going to need some kind of external reaction wheel, I think. So let's take off our experiments and our parachutes. There we go and let's get back to our typical one and we're probably going to want the uh the heat oops just clicked off the screen uh we're probably going to want the heat shields aren't we uh, or thermal thermal heat shield 1.25 meters and will you detach will you attach properly nope still got that issue where there's two nodes it's fine it works so let's just put these on and Let's put a barometer on the back and a thermometer. I probably have to switch that to single. Yep. Don't want anything obstructing the hatch, of course. And that's everything back together again, I think. So, um, bottom booster, detach next booster, detach main engine, and drop. Uh, is that detach? That's uh, detach. So, the heat shield is fine okay try again 
All right, so here we are. Let's start the SAS up and take off. And this time, <laughs> hopefully I should have some control. We shall see very shortly. And of course, I can't use MechJab or any kind of add-on to actually uh, fly this thing. Unlike Realism Overhaul, where that's pretty much required. There's pretty much no two ways around it. Okay, we're just about to run out of solid fuel on this first booster. Second booster, and let's start tipping over oh, just a little bit. And then we can start into our pitch program. And we're just going to head straight east. Remember this space center east along the equator, unlike the alternate one. So let's start tipping over. And then we should be going into the um, liquid fuel stage. There we go. This looks far too short a rocket. We may have to try and get more science and then get boosters, but at least we have this going for us. And we can bring ourselves over. Pitch at 45 degrees, there or thereabouts. We're leading the prograde marker. And what's our APO like? 30, 40, and we can just keep following that up. We need to get above 70. And of course, we want some time to app over. We don't really have anything that can give us that information at the moment. Okay, so there's 75, 76. And we can tilt over a little bit. We've got less than half a tank left, which is not great. Um, the usual orbiter has the LV-909 up here with one of these tanks. And then this entire stage can be below that, but we don't have a LV-909 yet. So that is... Um, <laughs> that's something we have to get next and that's fine so we should be able to get at least the barometer uh probably ooh, i want to say transmit oh okay so that is going to need an antenna fine let's just keep it uh in fact we've already kept it haven't we because we couldn't transmit and we're heading up towards the apple now whereabouts are we yeah Let's see what our uh, let's see what our fuel rate's like. Now uh, that's going to burn the fuel quite a lot, quite quickly. So let's get a little bit further up towards the apo and be as efficient as we can be. Here it comes. All right. Uh, so 71, 72, and then let's just go. Let's see how far we get. Do we get any new science in here? Uh, a little bit. Let's keep that. I guess we can uh, just shut that down again because our apple is going to have moved over. Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's keep going. I think we're still going to be short, though. Let's just point to prograde. There we go. And of course, the problem is if we go too far and we don't have any fuel to turn around, uh, Jebediah, we're stuck up here. So <laughs> it's not too bad, but it definitely does need that top stage, I think, with the LV-909 or something like that. Maybe even two side boosters. But if we put those thumpers on, the main problem is that you... Well, we've got to... Uh, I could do with some kind of Delta V indication or I'd have to calculate it. I don't particularly like to do that, but we can. Um, let's just use up the rest of our fuel. See how far we can get. <laughs> it is almost, almost there. I just don't want to run out of fuel and be in orbit. See what I mean? Almost. All right, so let's spin around. And let's come back in and hopefully we get some more science. Maybe over here, maybe not. It's just open ocean. Let's give it a go anyway. So re-entry as normal. Detach. Okay, and we're going to go right around the world here. So we should, well, we should be flying up here for quite some time. Let's head back down. Maybe desert. That might be a possibility. All right, and coming in for landing. I'll see you on the ground. 
And here we are on the ground. So we can recover the vessel. We've got some science. And that should give us enough to push us over into that next node, which may give us, uh, well, we can get the side attachment points. So technically we can put the thumpers on either side if we wanted to. Um, okay, so we're at 19 science. That's fine. So we can get this stability enhancement if we want. That will let us use these and those side modules. That's one possibility. Uh, is there anything else for 20 science? No, it's all it's all way above that. So let's just take this node and let's buy those parts, shall we? Alternatively, we can go with uh, liquid boosters. They work just as well. Okay, so rather ungainly rocket that we have at the moment, we can probably think about well getting rid of those. And we can use the solid thumpers, but if we do, again, they can be. Um, a little bit ungainly. Let's just put this underneath here. Add some more stuff to it. And we don't really have a top stage, do we? We could try and orbit that, but that's um, that's one and a half tons. <laughs> that's quite heavy. Okay, so the usual approach then is to have two side boosters. And we can do that relatively straightforwardly. If we put in a radial decoupler, we don't have any fuel ducts as yet, so we can't do that. Let's get a radial... Uh, in fact, hang on, we need to just duplicate this first. Do you want to duplicate it from there? Yeah, maybe just from there. Okay, and let's put this in here. Is that attached? No, it's not attached. Always a little bit temperamental to get these attached. Let me just refit that and we'll come back to you. Okay, I eventually went with this craft uh, because of part limits and weight limits, etc. It's pretty much the maximum size for this particular launch pad. So I just want to see if this does any better. Um, the problem with these thumpers are generally that also we can't really steer until the engine comes on because they, they just, <laughs> it's got too much, uh, pretty much inertia. And away we go. Now this is longer, it's got uh, seven segments rather than five of these 200 tanks. And we're just going to head again to the east and we'll see how well this does by comparison to the previous vessel. Okay, with 1.48 <laughs> fuel, I'm technically in orbit, I think. Um, yes, I am in orbit by one meter. <laughs> Okay, um, let's just realign ourselves with retrograde. <laughs> let's see how much that fuel, and uh, remember we're quite close to Apo, so uh, what we may well do is actually go all the way around and reburn at Apo. So if I just turn that off for a second, and we're going to have an orbit, because why not? Let's go, let's go around. So around a bit here. And turn on our SAS, point retrograde. Because we now got some experience. Jeb is level one. He's leveled up while up here. <laughs> this is going to be the, the smallest burn in the world. So 70,014 now. All right. So let's see how much this goes. 57. <laughs> All right. And let's separate. That should have given us a little bit. 55. <laughs> Oh my, this may take a little while. Um, I'm going to go back around and see if I can... Um, see if I can get us into the atmosphere. This is the problem with not having that upper stage. Uh, you don't have anything to really manoeuvre with in orbit, and we don't have any RCS. Um, you can... You can get out and push. Um, I'm just not going to. I, I would rather not, not try and use Jeb's jetpack. In fact, no, he can't EVA because he doesn't have the suit upgrade yet. So we don't have that, that option either. <laughs> right, I'll see you on the ground after maybe a few trips around the globe. And it's hard to see on screen, of course, um, just because of uh, just the way this is. Hopefully that will be visible. Uh, there's probably the best angle. So we're, uh, we've are we got 53, 52... And this is again with only a single revolution. We've already we've already actually brought ourselves into the atmosphere. Here's our Apo behind us, already in the atmosphere. So even with just one revolution inside 
you know, 55k. At the speed we were going, it's more than enough to slow us down. And we should be able to slow down. Uh, this looks like desert area, so we may actually get some, some new science. Yeah, so there is our wonderful heat shield acting. Uh, so you'll be able to see something now. I've already taken barometer and thermometer readings from high in the atmosphere, so that's given us another 10 or so science, I want to say, if we recover this. And that is um, <laughs> maybe overheating those. You can move them a little bit further up to get them more behind the heat shield if you wanted to, but uh, we shouldn't need to too much. So here we go, and we should get to the safe region for parachutes sometime soon. It doesn't look like desert though, unfortunately. That's behind us somewhere. Never mind. Pull the parachute. Do we get anything for the goo? Uh, not really. I just want to see if we get uh, something on the ground. So let's head down and uh, I'll see you on the ground and see if we... Ooh, this might ma oh, is this mountain? Interesting. That would be good if so. Um, let's try again. Is this biome specific? No, just while flying. Okay. Let's get to the ground. Okay, here we are on the ground. Did we get any new science here? Uh, Highlands. So, yes, I guess we would. And can we get a crew report? I guess we can. Not much science with that. Uh, we, can, we can EVA and I guess collect all the data from um, everything. Uh, well, that won't help on that one, but uh, if I go around and get the samples from the back, maybe I'm going to be able to take another reading. So take the data from the barometer and from the thermometer. And let's go and head back in. Grab and board. At which point can we take another reading? Yeah, it's not much science, but uh, it will all help. Okay, and now we can recover. So we've got all the orbital contract stuff, which should give us quite a bit of money, hopefully. Enough to upgrade one or two stations. 183,000 and 36 science. 36 will probably push us over into be able to get another node. So let's do all of that. Jeb's ready for another assignment, of course. So we may well send Val up next. Advanced rocketry, that LV-909. Who was short of science for it? <laughs> Okay, uh, larger fuel tanks, which reduces the, the part count, which is all good. And yeah, some other stuff that we were normally used to. Aviation, not too worried about. Uh, flight control, that's an inline reaction wheel. We probably will need that with this re-entry mo module, so, or the, the earlier one. So if we want to use the Russian-style pods, then we're going to want that. And then basic science. So the Probidobidine and Steve Putnik for unmanned stuff. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, we've got a fair ways into the uh, into the uh, base game missions. The next one is really explore the Mun. And let me know what you think. If you want me to play more of this particular career, cool. Say so in the comments. If not, let me know that as well. Um, it's uh, more than useful. It is much, much easier, of course, than Realism Overhaul. So I appreciate if you want to follow along with this. It's the base game, so you don't have to install any mods. So let me know. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to thumbs up, subscribe, share, hit the bell as you normally would or whatever. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time. As always, thanks for watching.